So just a quick video here of our greenhouse. We are growing bell peppers in this greenhouse and I'll just show you what we got going on. So here we just have some water barrels that we use later in the season. And if we look inside, these are all the bell pepper plants. So each row is a different color. We have red here, yellow, and orange. And we grow these peppers hydroponically. So we have a barrel here where we mix our nutrients and a pump that just runs on a timer. So if I turn on the water, it comes down this tube here, down the back, and it comes under each row. And then it comes out of these drip emitters here, and it comes out of these dripper stakes. So as you can see, it's just a slow drip. So not a whole lot comes out but that's all you want for this type of system and with these drip emitters it makes sure that all the plants get watered at the exact same time and they get watered with the exact same amount per plant so those drip emitters are really important for a system like this so how we grow these plants is once they get a little bit bigger, we are going to prune the plant and we will grow only two stems per plant. So each stem is going to grow up one of these strings. And in this greenhouse, we target each plant to get roughly 18 to 20 bell peppers per plant. So we're shooting for around a thousand bell peppers for this greenhouse and hopefully a little bit more but a thousand is kind of the um, spot that we're trying to achieve so as we water the plants you'll notice that we have holes cut in the bottom of the bag and this is where we get a little bit of drainage so every time we water we want to see a little bit of drainage because this basically ensures that the plants are fully saturated and they've gotten enough water and it also makes sure that we flush out any excess unused nutrients each time we water so this basically maintains the proper ec in the root zone and also helps to maintain the proper pH so that's another thing that we have to ensure that we do when we mix our fertilizer is make sure we mix it at the right concentration and we pH adjust it in the proper range so this greenhouse also has exhaust fans installed and they operate on a thermostat so when it gets to the set temperature which is 24 degrees for this greenhouse they will turn on and these louvers here will open up and that's how we cool the greenhouse we also have a heater here that is set so at night time this heater does run and on cold days it will also run so one more thing i wanted to show with this greenhouse is this greenhouse has two layers of plastic. So as you can see, this plastic is actually being inflated. So here the air gets drawn in and with this blower fan, it actually inflates the two layers of plastic. And what this does is it increases the insulation value of the greenhouse and that air gap slows down the cold air coming into the greenhouse. So this really helps on the cold nights and it also helps uh, prevent condensation from building up on the greenhouse 
and it will eliminate dripping onto the plants which is pretty important for the plant health and also just uh, working in the greenhouse. It's nice when you're not getting water dripped on you all the time. And the plastic we actually buy is also uh, anti-condensation as well. So that also helps uh, prevent a film of water getting on the plastic. So one of the things we do early in the season is remove the first flowers from the plant. So these ones here, we're gonna remove those. And this is because we want to target our first fruit set when the plant is larger. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you guys have any questions about the greenhouse or the growing methods, feel free to comment. I'll try to answer as many as I can. And I'll see you in another video.